no internet connection. Jacob had to write a ten-page paper on Abraham Lincoln by tomorrow. He hadn't even started yet. He always procrastinated, but he always got good grades, too. Jacob poured himself a cup of coffee and drank the whole thing. He opened up his laptop. Then, he opened up a blank document. Next, he opened up the internet browser. He had to look up information on Abraham Lincoln. When he clicked the enter button to look up information, it said there was an internet connection problem. He checked his router. It looked fine. He double-checked if he typed Abraham Lincoln incorrectly. He tried turning his Wi-Fi on and off. It still didn't work. Jacob started to sweat. He knew his teacher wouldn't give him a deadline extension. Jacob called customer service and explained his problem. The person on the other line gave him suggestions, but nothing worked. Jacob talked to the person for about an hour and then gave up. He was upset that he wasted an hour. It was already 9 p hash m hash, and he had to turn in his paper at 8 a.m. Jacob had to turn this around. He went to the library, picked out 10 books on Lincoln and used the library computer. He finished writing at 2 a.m. He ended up getting an A on the paper. She has a unibrow. Marissa was born with a physical imperfection. She has a unibrow. A unibrow is one long brow. Most people have two eyebrows. People make fun of her for having a unibrow. A lot of people don't want to be friends with her. She does have two good friends though. Heather and Joe are Marissa's best friends. They accept Marissa for who she is. Heather was approached by the popular kids. The leader of the popular kids was Amy. Amy offered Heather a spot in her group if she left Marissa. Heather thought about it. Although she loved Marissa, she always dreamed of being popular. She told Amy that she had to think about the offer. Heather told Joe what happened. Joe was mad that Heather had to even think about it. You have been friends with Marissa forever, Joe said. Heather thought about it. She thought about all the times she and Marissa did homework together, ate together, and laughed together. It wasn't worth it to give all that up for popularity. She called Amy. I'm never leaving Marissa, she's beautiful on the inside. After talking to Amy, Heather asked Marissa and Joe to hang out. No need to help others. Kimberly was very selfish. She only cared about herself and never did any favors for anyone. A classmate of hers asked for her chemistry notes, and she said no. The teacher asked her to read a section of the textbook out loud, and she said no. The principal asked her a piece of trash on the floor, and she said no. The principal called Kimberly into his office. He asked why she was so disobedient. Kimberly said that she didn't feel the need to help others when no one has ever helped her. What do you mean no one helped you? The principal asked. Kimberly explained how she never met her mom and dad. Her dad passed away before she was born and her mom died while giving birth. Kimberly was in foster care, and her foster parents were not the nicest people. They provided food and a home for her, but that was it. The principal felt sorry for her. Kimberly asked him not to feel sorry for her because she liked that she was independent. Planning a surprise party. Drake, Minnie, and Maribel have been best friends since they were four years old. They were inseparable. They had a lot of inside jokes, a secret meeting place, and friendship bracelets. They were very exclusive, too. They didn't want to include other people in their group. It would be too hard. Maribel went to a Thai restaurant with her family. She saw Drake and Minnie having dinner together. Why would they have dinner without her? It looked like they liked each other more than friends. Minnie was laughing and flipping her hair. Drake touched Minnie's hand. 
Maribel was upset. If they started dating, she would be out of the group. At school, Maribel confronted Drake and Minnie about it. So, when were you going to tell me you two are dating? Maribel said. Drake and Minnie nervously looked at each other. We're not dating. We never would, Drake said. I saw you two at the restaurant last night, Maribel said. Well, we didn't want to tell you, but we were planning a surprise party for you. That's why we didn't invite you to eat with us, Minnie said. Maribel felt bad that she ruined the surprise. College admissions. It's hard to get into college these days. It used to be a lot easier. Now it's even not enough to get good grades. You need to have good grades in advanced classes. You need to do some extracurriculars. Extracurriculars are activities you do outside of class such as playing basketball, playing the violin, singing, and more. You need to have a high score on the SAT or ACT. The SAT and ACT are used to test what you know. They both have questions on various subjects. You need to have some leadership positions. It is not just enough to be a member of a club. You need to be the president or the vice president. You also need letters of recommendation, letters in which your teachers, coaches, or bosses write about your abilities and personality. It also helps if you won some awards. It shows that you can achieve something. You also have to write good essays that show who you are as a person. Colleges want people who have interesting personalities and stories. Students with good grades but boring essays will not get into the college of their dreams. Students should not be sad if they don't get into the college of their dreams. They need to know that getting into college is tougher as years go by.